Hey guys, welcome back to Mod Sauce here. My name is Levy, and uh, yeah, like I said, this is the Mod Sauce Let's Play, and I apparently just took a screenshot. All right, so a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot has happened in between episodes, and as you can see, we have a new base. Uh, I don't know what to call this yet. Uh, my girlfriend says we should call it the prison because it kind of looks like a prison, apparently. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the in the down there's, and uh, we'll see what we can go by down there. Um, anyways, so. Yeah, there has been a lot that's happened in between episodes, um, and I apologize for that. I actually had an episode ready that was, you know, showing off this and a whole bunch of other stuff before I got tons done in there. Uh, it, it it didn't record properly. I didn't actually have sound in it, apparently. <clears throat> so, we are now doing an update. So, everything has been moved over from the previous base. Um, we have over here... Uh, we have the QED, everything, all the chests and all that crap. Uh, this was my little AFK hole. I'm going to get rid of that. Uh, got a little bit of our thermal expansion set up. You know, our basic uh, boring stuff. So anyways, so we have evolved two Tesseracts. Um, the transfer nodes, for some reason, when I log back in, they do not always work. And I do not know why. Um, but these seem to be working perfectly fine. Uh, I ended up using the energy conduits as well. Um, so these were the solar power or solar panels I was using. I actually just made like five more or whatever for the time being. It, it's a decent power source for the beginning. And then I think, ah, there it is. All right, we're gonna go up here. Sorry about the length of time it takes to get up here. Um, so uh, there was a comment added by somebody named Game Show uh, to use uh, windmills, and I actually decided to give it a try. Uh, I didn't make too, too many. Uh, I didn't have the resources at the time. This was just to get my quarry up and running, which I now have, by the way. Uh, we got it going into a Tesseract, blah, blah, blah. So, thanks for the advice there, bud. It's going, it's actually doing pretty damn well at the moment, but I needed more power. So, I upgraded to the furnace generators, and they're permanently, permanently extracting coal into them. Oh, but now here's the question. Where does this magical coal come from? Well, I finished... The wither. I finished the tier 5 wither skeleton uh, spawner. So now we have like a retarded amount of coal. Um, tons and tons of wither skeleton heads, which I'm going to be using today. And we're going to be making a brand new super OP tool. I already got the sword for it. Um, this took, I think... <sighs> let me see. Hang on. Let me, let's, let's go to practicalities real quick. It was a silly, silly amount of nether, star, or nether stars. Uh, let's see. So each one of these takes eight, so there's eight, eight, and then three, so it was 32 for the sword. <laughs> and then, there's going to be five here, and then, so seven. Ugh, this is just not, this is a bad idea. But, either way, um, so, <laughs> I also got some AE going, I don't know if I, sh I can't remember if I showed you guys that. Um, we got tons and tons of stuff, like, check this out. Look at that! 2,000 of, of three of these. What? That is ridiculous. And we haven't even burned out any more of the storage cells. This is this is just amazing. We have a retarded amount of cobblestone, blah, blah, blah. And so I moved our automation over here. So it's really, really simple. All it is, they are auto-extracting into the import buses that are right here. Uh, and I have exporting all different, all, all, every single, pretty much every type of ore that I have that can go in here. If you look here. There's no ore in here. That's because it's immediately, you know, put right into the system here. Oh, see? Right there. Boom. You can't even see it. It went so fast. Uh, let's see. How many powder do I still have? Uh, I got quite a bit of this stuff. Yeah, it's, it is, it's not the fastest system in the world. That's kind of why I miss uh, industrial craft sometimes. But, I mean, you know what? It does the job, so it's whatever. Um, but anyways, yeah, so... That's going uh, upgraded to a little bit of the newer conduits here. It's a bit of a bit of an upgrade. It works better. These things are ridiculous. They generate so much power. It's just stupid. Like they like <laughs> it works great. It's, it's just perfect. I like this system. I love the way this looks, and I love the setup. And I actually really like this space. Um, ah, this right here, ineffable glass. So this is actually used by using a division sigil. That was also in the ne in the last video. That was also in the video that no longer has audio. So if you look, I even have Cursed Earth. And an activated uh, Division Sigil is in here. Yep. <coughs> Sorry about that. And we even have some unstable ingots left. So this stuff is awesome. It's completely see-through. You know, see it's got a little cool little effect on the side. And you can walk right through it. And you are the only thing that can walk through it. Like players. 
no no mobs nothing which is just awesome all right, what else, what else, what else has been going on today? Ooh, yes, let us go show the quarry. Okay, so, ooh, and I also have a way to kill the wither, which is really, really cheaty, and it's just wonderful. Thank you so much, Ender.io. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't have to get, like, ten pieces of quintuple compressed cobblestone to get this. So we're going to go over here. Now, I had this portal here, but it was causing this really weird issue where it, it just, I don't know, it just kept... Oh my god, <laughs> that has mined a lot of blocks. I love this ender quarry. It is 100 by 100 everywhere. Just boom, 100 by 100. And it is just getting an absurd amount of things. Um, but yes, so do not, uh, well, at least I'm, I'm not able to. I don't know why. Maybe it has to do with the fact that I'm on a laptop and it's being transferred to a monitor. And I'm using like a monitor as my actual uh, screen. Maybe that's the problem. But anytime I teleport to the mining world, or from it with this uh, ex uh, enhanced portals, it puts my NEI shifted to the right. I can't see anything. And I don't know what's causing it. If you guys know, let me know <laughs> below. But it's really annoying. But, uh, yeah, so this is our Wither Killer Mirror. Wither Killer Mirror? Yeah. Anyways, so it's just a 3 a three by 3 by 2 and then one on top. And the inner, very, very center is a gap. Put the Wither on here, spawn them, no, push them up. Head gets stuck in there, walk away, nothing blows up, can't deal damage to anyone, just attack. <laughs> it's it's really a little, it's a little cheaty, I'll give it that. It, it's a little bit cheaty. Um, but you know what, it works. And uh, we're actually going to be using it a bit today, because uh, when I showed you guys uh, in practicalities there, I want the other tool. It is apparently, from what I've heard, insanely overpowered, and I want it really bad. So... We need, uh, do I have, how much soul sand do I got? Sure. That's okay for now. We'll do it like this, like this, and like this. Perfect. I'm going to have nowhere near enough soul sand, but hey, you know what? Ah, no. So I'll demonstrate this real quick to you guys here. I won't do a lot of it on camera just because it, it does take a little bit of time. Um, I, originally I was just going to make the tool, but I figured I'd make the sword so this would go much faster. Uh, because my old sword, uh, if you can remember, did it did a fair amount of damage. It would do like 18 damage to the wither. This thing kills it in like 5 hits. Or Well, I guess it's more like 7 or 8 plus the, with his regen, but it's it's just silly. So, we're going to set this up real quick here. 1, 2, pop. Push him up, walk away. And not too, uh, not too distant in the future here. Should be good to go. Okay, um, let's go. Ah, die, die. Yeah, see, this is just silly. Like, how is that even remotely fair in any circumstances? I love it. I love it. Okay, we're gonna do this, this, and this. Yeah, another one. We'll do. We'll do one. We'll do two more, and then I'll then I'll take off, and I'll go do this off camera, guys. Uh, I'll come back when I'm ready. When I have enough Nether stars to hopefully. Hopefully, <laughs> I put that in very big quotations because I could mess up <laughs> uh, when we're ready to make the tool and uh, we'll see what we can do from there, guys. So yeah, one more. Oh yeah, and I found out that the bow actually can't really hit him when he's pushed up like that. I don't really understand why. This thing's still, this thing's still silly. If I have the arrows, it's like a machine gun. I love it. <laughs> All right, and... I guess, you know what, that would have been something I showed in the previous episode that uh, actually would have not properly gone through. So let me try and show you that really quick too. This is super duper cool. So this bow has an enchantment called Drawback and I put Infinity on it. So when I activate it, watch this. Instant Drawback. Look at just boom, 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 boom. It's like a machine gun. It's like... It's, it's just... It's silly. Like when you see a mob and you, there's a mob running at you, I was like... Oh my god, it's a creeper! Just <laughs> dead. I apologize for any headphone users if that was really loud. <laughs> Alright, so anyways, I'm going to get this done off camera. I'll be back when we have hopefully enough nether stars. And, uh, yeah, see you in a few guys. I'm back. Um, it's actually been a few days since uh, that last recording there. Um, as you can see, I've done some updating to the base. I kind of like it better this way. It looks a little less prison-y. <laughs> um, but yeah, so anyways, so we're going to go in here. 
change the color of that a bit, change some of the cables to the cyan color, I don't know if I had that last time, but like I said, it's been a few days, look at how stupid this is, <laughs> like, look at 22,000 iron, that, that's just silly, I don't have very much gold, unfortunately, uh, let's see, anyway, so yeah, so, um, we got a bunch of that stuff going on. Uh, Cory's still going. I actually upgraded the Cory. It's a 500 by 500 radius right now, which is just, it's just silly. It shouldn't be like that. Um, also got the tool done. Oh yeah, is, could you see that? You see the, you see those there? <laughs> I'll show you those in a sec here. This tool is absolutely retarded. Um, okay, so, number one, let's, uh, just, just instamine, just through everything. It's just stupid. Um, okay, so there's that. Uh, it'll break leaves immediately, uh, trees immediately. Like, <laughs> oh wait, oh that's cool. It has silk touch. It actually gets those. I didn't know that. That's pretty cool actually. <clears throat> Get rid of all that crap. There actually should be a spawner under here. Oh, hey now. Get out of here. Yeah, there's a skeleton spawner right there. There should be a couple of spawners in here as well. <coughs> excuse the excuse the coughing there. Or the throat clearing, I should say. Oh, there's a chest. Oh boy, two ender pearls. I don't have any of those. Let's see. Um but yeah, this video is going on a little long here. I just Oh my god! What? That is an absurd amount of squid. It's literally lagging my game. There is so many squid here. Oh, yeah, if you find that you have that menu in the bottom of your uh, screen there, just, just press N. You can actually get it to this point, which is actually pretty cool. Um, but uh, if you just press N again, it hey, don't go away. Um, but, yeah, so I think part of what I want to do, um, next episode I'm going to start getting into other, other mods there as well. Um, start something new. But uh, in the meantime... I made some wings, guys. They're actually quite easy to make. It's from Extra Utilities. Uh, let me see. Okay, let me see. Okay, so it's right here. So I made the golden wings, which is just, you know, unstable ingots, which is made by dividing by diamond through the through the ritual over there that I used. Um, it's pretty simple. Uh, I might make the dragon wings. I think, I think I can actually make those right now and show you. I should have some extras. I think I have some unstable ingots. I don't want the fairy wings. I want the dragon wings. Cool, I can make them. Oh, no. There we go. Look at those. Those are cool. Definitely like those. Those actually look quite cool. I like them. But I don't know. I kind of like the golden wings. I kind of like the golden wings, especially with this armor. I mean, it'd be cool until we get new armor. Uh, what about the... Uh, where are they? The feathery wings. What do these look like? Hmm. Yeah, those are alright. They're, they're not the best, but whatever. We'll leave it at that. Anyways, guys, like I said, uh, this video has run pretty long as is. Um, I just wanted to give you an update on what's going on. You know, it made the base look a little nicer. I think it looks a lot better. This is just birch chiseled. Um, but, um, we're going to be setting up some new spawners soon. I actually ended up I don't know, <clears throat> I don't know what, how I got this, but apparently, <clears throat> I think it might have been found in a chest or something, um, but my quarry ended up picking up this, and the replicators are kind of cool, they're, uh, they're these little silverfish looking things, and when you kill them, they drop different kinds of dust, so glowstone, uh, redstone, gold, and copper, and iron, I believe, um, so I want to make a tier 5 spawner of them, and, uh, make a specific, like, area just for processing <clears throat> those materials and then sending them off to the base here because I mean it's a great way to get other materials I mean I don't need iron very much but I need a lot of gold I don't have very much and I don't I don't think we have very much redstone I know we don't have any glowstone whatsoever really uh eh, we're at 10,000 I mean it could go higher what's the cert oh my god the certus quartz is high too this was at 30,000 um, I actually ended up setting this up with a couple export buses on here that we're just constantly keeping these supplied but they burn through so much, so much coal, <coughs> and uh, so I got to a point where I just had to, you know, turn that off. Um, I had the speed upgrade going on the quarry for a little bit, had to turn that off. 
Uh, pretty soon I might upgrade this to some of the resonant machines from um, uh, thermal expansion. Uh, I also am thinking about getting into either probably bees uh, and maybe some of the fish breeding. Probably the bees though, I understand it a little bit better. Uh, we'll probably take the easy way and go through gen industry. Just to make it a little easier. Um, there's some other things I want to get set up, like basic farms that I just don't have set up yet. Um, like probably I'm gonna do a, a little water base right here that'll have a lot of different farming stations on it, like little nine by nines with farms in them. So you know, cows, sheep, pigs, um, like whatever it is. Uh, like I need sugar cane. I have like no sugar cane. I don't have any paper left. So if I ever need paper, oh yeah, see, look, it's now the 23rd. <laughs> I think it was the 19th in the video the last time or something like that. Like it was, it was just ridiculous. But this sword is insane. Like it's just it does so much damage. Like look at it does <laughs> it does 60 damage. That's just silly. Um I think I might actually end up making a second one and put it on here so I can use both and just beat the crap out of stuff. Probably end up making three if that's the case, but you know that'll that'll be a little later down the road. I'll still use this bow for a while until I start finding a a different mod to get into, but